Hey guys, welcome back to my next book preview video. This week we have three books. These are Morpho Anatomy for Artists. So let's start with Simplified Forms. I believe this is the first one in this series. Um, out of the three I've got, I should say, the earliest of these three. Quick look at the table of contents there. So with these books, the title obviously suggests what the book is about. This is Simplified Forms. Pretty self-explanatory. For any of you guys that are artists, you will know the importance of simplifying forms. It is something that, you know, it's, it's a very much an art fundamental. It's always helpful, in my opinion, to get information on simplifying forms. It always comes back to simplifying forms. So I'm going to try not to make these videos too long, uh, because fitting three books into a video is potentially going to be quite a long video. I was skipping through at a little bit of speed, but hopefully you guys could just turn the... Um, the speed down on YouTube and watch it a little bit slower or just pause it if you want to see a particular page. I believe each of these books, roughly speaking, is about 100 pages. And as you can probably tell, they are quite small books. So just to give you an example, we're up to about 18 centimeters by 12 or if you are American, seven inches by five very quickly there take that with a pinch of salt i didn't do that very accurately um but i did watch someone's video where they mentioned that you can buy a larger version and they showed a larger version i'm pretty new to these books so i don't actually know whether it means certain copies of these books you know certain um themes like this is a simplified forms one for example some of them are a larger format or whether it means that each of the books is available in a larger format because I haven't come across them myself. So if you do know which of those is true, then please do let me know in the comments below. I would be quite intrigued to know. It would be quite a nice book to have in a larger format. So this is something that some people like in the reviews complain about. Um, for me, I think it's quite a cool thing that the book is small. I think it's very travel handy. It's easy to just pick up take with you anywhere it just I don't know it's something about it just feels easier and to me you know there's still plenty of information in there and it's not difficult to read before we look at the next one the other thing to mention is the way that this is that well the binding on it I think you can kind of see on there and it's the same on all books so if we move on to the hands and feet again I actually really like this I think it's pretty cool it seems to work out quite handy I've not had any issues with it but my books are still quite new. Um, but in the comments on like Amazon and things, a lot of people were saying, oh, is it meant to be like this? It looks damaged. I don't like it, blah, blah, blah. And I've seen people in book reviews saying that. Um, to me, I think it's really cool. I have no problems with it. It's not something I've seen before, but yeah, I really like that format. So yeah, we're on to hands and feet now whilst I'm rambling on. Again, Morpho books to me, I think the main focus is about simplifying forms. I think that's the main benefit of them, as well as them being travel handy, as mentioned. You probably notice there isn't a huge amount of text in them. Yes, yeah, some pages have like, you know, half a page of text. But again, it's small, small pages. So half a page of text isn't necessarily a lot. And I quite like this format. So my opinion of these books is that they're going to be quite helpful um, because they've got good reference and I think it's broken down in bite-sized chunks, which to me is really important when compared to something like an Andrew Loomis anatomy book, for example, figure drawing book. Um, I'm a big fan of Andrew Loomis and I regularly try and read the books, but for me, it doesn't read too clearly and I find myself having to reread sections constantly and not really taking it in or getting a good understanding of it um, and I find a lot of information in there that seems to be a little bit unnecessary sometimes as much as I love the books and definitely recommend them. One other thing to note quickly is that we are up to feet here and we're almost at page 70 so there is probably more in this book about hands than there is feet but yeah as I was saying um, I think these are a bit more bite size maybe there's not as much information in them um, I'm not sure. Again, I haven't gone through them thoroughly yet, but I find it a lot easier to just pick these up and start reading and pick up tips and things like that. I would be really curious to see what your guys' opinion on these books are, especially if you've got some of the other ones. Um, so I'll leave it at that for the feet one. 
hands and feet, I should say. And last of all, I have clothing folds and creases, same format again. You can see some of the other books in the series here, which I'll mention in a second. But this is actually the, the one that I wanted the most because I got these three as a bundle, which, you know, explains why I do have three random ones in case you were wondering. So there are about nine, I believe, at the time of me reading this book or recording it on camera, I should say. Um, so I'm going to try and get this right. I believe that the first one is just called Morpho Anatomy for Artists. I think the second one is the simplified forms that I showed at the beginning. And third of all, we have skeletons, bone and reference points. Then there is a fat and skin folds, which I would actually be quite interested in seeing that one. Do any of you guys have that one? Um, I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, On to hands and feet, I think is next, which is the one I just showed. Then joint forms and muscular functions, followed by, I think it's muscly bodies or muscular bodies. Then onto the clothing folds and creases, which is, of course, this one that we've got here. And at the time of me recording this, I think about a month ago, um, they just released number nine, which was Drawing Mammals. So a book on drawing certain animals. I'd be quite intrigued by that, but I always want to learn how to draw animals. And I've got too much stuff to study already, so I never end up buying those books. But yeah, let me know which ones you guys have and which ones you do like and which ones you don't like. So they start quite simple at the beginning of the book, exactly how I like it. But I will say by the end of the book, it, it does get a little bit more complex. So I do think that, you know, any level of artist would benefit from it. Anyway, we are drawing near to the end now. I've shown quite a lot of this one. Um, I think these are really handy to have as reference or just to sort of pick up on some tips and stuff. And to be honest, they're pretty cheap. I will put links to where I got them from in the description box below this video. But that's pretty much it, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel so I can keep making more content like this. Thanks for watching, everyone.